Yo, what up? It's Kizzle from Kizzle's Picks, bringing you KVO Parlay of the Night, and KVO Run Through, and KVO Picks and Predictions, all KVO. Um, I don't know if you count last night as a win, well, four out of five parlays hit, but it was only one game, because all the other ones got rained out. The only one I didn't cash was the under, which... I thought that might have been one of the better plays in that game, but obviously not. So, I don't know. Those four hit there. We had one the other day, but who knows. Let's see what happens tonight. Hopefully we can catch some more Ws. You know? Uh, or bigger payouts. How about that? So, yeah. Not bad. Alright, guys. Hit me up in the comments. Hit that like button if you're new. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when the videos drop because they're always time sensitive. And today I'm over at work so I'm going to try to get through the video a little bit but every time I say that it ends up being twice as long. So let's see what we can do and if there's nothing else let's get the video fucking started. Alright guys our first matchup of the night here tonight is uh whoa I thought that said Hanwha bro I can't see. Uh, Doosan Bears versus the LG Twins. A good pitching matchup tonight. We got Guac Bean, my boy, versus Casey Kelly for LG. Guac Bean is 10 and 6 with a 2.74 ERA. Casey Kelly is 8 and 7 with a 4.39 ERA. So. The way we're looking here, I know Black, Wait, no, Black Ben has pitched against LG maybe three or four times. He got that one time where he got beat up because he got injured or something. His last time against LG, he went six strong innings and two runs. Not bad. Oh, uh, wait. Did you better guess? Nope. Where is this it? six out of your eyes? What? Oh, yeah. Alright, so his last time out, he went eight shutout against SSG. He lost to NC, he only went three and two thirds. But now the games against LG, we looked at that one. This one is just the one he got beat up. Yep, one and a third inning, six earned runs. Not that good. And then this one right here, seven and a third, two earned runs, but three came across. And then if we want to go across the way to the other team, Rock. I mean, Casey Kelly, sorry. Jesus, man. Casey Kelly has not been the same Casey Kelly he used to be, man. You can just. You used to be able to bet blindly on him if he was pitching, but now he's not the ace anymore. Um, yeah, he just isn't as good as he used to be. I don't know, who knows. But anyways, we've faced Deuce on it once before. Got the win, 72 rounds. Faced Deuce on called the W. Yeah, and where else in the other games? Do some here, six innings, three runs. Do some here, seven innings, one run. So, we're not ex Oh, and let's look at his last couple times. I'm sorry. Yeah, Lote, six innings, shut out before that. Two earned and three earned. Samsung and Taiwan. So, this game here where. We're expecting Doosan to win, man. Uh, everybody's got LG, but they're coming off a three-game losing streak, and I think they're due for some regression. I like Doosan to play good tonight with one of their best pitchers on the hill here. Uh, I'm taking them plus one and a half to be safe. Like the under eight and a half, then I got Doosan plus half a run first half and over four and a half. Next game. We have the Samsung Lions and the KT Wiz. Speaking of Wiz, we're going to try to whiz through this a little bit now, guys. These rain cancellations, I think, helps out 
Lote better than anybody because now they got their ace on the hill. So, why am I on Lote, bro? Samsung, I'm sorry. Helped out actually. I can't say I helped out Samsung. They got Taylor Widener now, but. Uh, so, so, Taylor Widener versus Wes Benjamin now. Uh, Taylor Widener's been struggling a lot with uh, Shum Shung here. He went four and two thirds, gave up seven to Kai Wilm. Six shot out at Kia. At SSG, six and two thirds, gave up four. Uh, let's see. So at Lotte, one run, two runs, four innings, three runs, six innings, what is it, two runs, oh yeah. Okay, so, yeah, against KT, he went six innings, two runs, KT again, six innings, one run, but, He's been starting to get beat up a little bit. Wes Benjamin, on the other hand. People have been starting to hit him a little bit too, except last game he went six innings. Uh, no earned runs, but gave up one. Then he pitched five and gave up four against Doosan. And C got him for four earned and five innings. And anything against Thompson? Samsung got him for five and seven innings and two and five innings. So the way we're looking here, we're definitely looking overs. First half, we like KT though, minus half a run. Uh, KT to win and then over eight and a half. Next game, guys. We have the NC Dinos and the Kia Tigers. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had some talking in the background. Somebody's on the phone being an asshole, so I moved to a different location. This is what happens when you're filming at work, unfortunately. Oh, everybody's got your attention, all kinds of bullshit. But anyways, we got NC and Kia. This really helps out uh, NC too, the delays, or I mean, not the delays, the postponements, or whatever you want to call them. I believe that helped them out, and it helped Key out too, because he was able to get Panini on the hill. He was supposed to pitch yesterday, but he did not because it was canceled, but now NC has Eric Fetty on the hill. Probably their, well, yeah, he is their best pitcher, so... So that's good there uh, for NC, and he's going up against Panini. Uh, Fetty 16 to five with a 1.97 ERA. Panini two and one with a 2.90 ERA. So the way we're looking here, I think you guys already know though. We're looking unders, unders. I hate to say that with these teams, but these pitchers man have been pitching great. So. Shit, I didn't go over their stats. You guys don't really need to see it. We had it yesterday. Fetty, you know, he's mostly binary, except he gave up four, like, one time or something. Well, hold Okay, ready? So, against LG last time, one run. He gave up five to Lote one time. And otherwise, I don't even see a four up there. Otherwise, it's three and under, so... We definitely like him last time against Kia, seven shutout innings, and yeah, that's that. Thomas Panini, on the other hand, Panoni, Panini, whatever you want to call him. Uh, got a little beat up, the, not beat up, I guess, three runs in five and two thirds, can't say that. And, Seven and a third, three runs, and they all scored these runs late in the game, so I don't know he did face NC five shot innings, so the way we're looking here you guys already saw the unders, but I'll show you them again. It is under four, NC minus half a run, under seven and a half, and NC money line.
The under kind of scares me a little bit, though. Depending on how long these pitchers pitch for. I think they can both go seven innings. But the bullpens are both fresh, though, too. They haven't played yet this week, so... I mean, we should be straight with that. I wish it was like an eight and a half just to give us that little cushion, but it's all good. Next game. We have the low tide Giants and the Hanwha Eagles. Bum, bum, bum. What I was saying before, this helped out Lote and not too much. So well, they got their better pitcher on the hill now. They did have Charlie Barnes the other day, but I think Wilkerson is better. And they're still going up against Wee Tang Yang, where I really liked uh, Hanwha to win yesterday. But now I like Lote because of this guy on the hill. He... I lost his last time out. He gave up one earned run in seven innings. Uh, yeah, so that's close there. Uh, what else he got? He six innings shutout, seven innings shutout against Kia SSG. So yeah, he pitches good, bro. Forgot uh, he didn't face Hanwha. Rudy Tang. Yang over here, as you guys remember from yesterday, he got two good outings his last two games, five innings, one run and one run. Lote hasn't been scoring the way they usually do. So, we don't like Hanwha this game. We like them, I think they could hang the first half. I think they're going to be really low scoring. I got that under three and a half. I think it's going to be one to one for some reason. I don't know why, I think it could be tied and I'm taking that Hanwha plus half a run. And we're going under three and a half. Uh, we're going under seven and a half full game. And let's pay on the money line. Next game. We have the Kai Wound Heroes versus the SSG Landers. Alright, so. We've got a great pitching matchup tonight. Well, if Kim Kwang Hun pitches good, we got An Wu Jin versus Kim Kwang Hun. An Wu Jin would be amazing if he had a different team, but he's still pretty good, man. 682 runs, 682 runs, 5 and 2 thirds, 0 earned runs. Let's see if we can find an SSG game. I know they won 2 1 one time when he was pitching. SSG got the loss, 7 innings, 2 runs. That's crazy, bro. No more, no, is that the only one? There's gotta be another one. What the heck? What the heck? Sorry, guys. Alright, so, yeah, I don't see any other SSG. I know they won 2 to 1 one time. Um. Alright, whatever then, so we have, yeah, he gave up two here in seven innings, and that's that, he usually doesn't give up, well, he's got a couple fours, he's got one five, and the rest are threes and under, Kim Kwang Hun on the other hand. Uh, Babui, four innings, six earned runs, six and two thirds, five earned runs. Yeah, we're not feeling too comfortable with him. Seven and two thirds, one earned run at Kai Woom. Another way, Kai Woom, six innings, one earned run. So it seems like he's been struggling lately, so. So I'm going uh, over four first half. I'm taking Kai Woom plus half a run. Uh, I got the under seven and a half, and then I like Kai Woom plus a run and a half. I don't know about that over under. If I'm gonna have Kai Woom win, I don't know how long Kim Kwang Hun's gonna last. I think uh, An Woo Jin could go at least seven. And then I feel like Kai Wun's bullpen could get six outs after that. But, SSG, the way they won yesterday, it's hard to pick Kai Wun, but 
kind of like them on the money line also. But I'm expecting uh, Kim Kwong actually, I think it's going to be like two to two first half. And they're going to have a little bit of a battle. Maybe he goes six and on Wu Jin. Maybe he can go eight tonight. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But that's that, guys. Hi right, guys. If you hang tight, I'll bring you some parlays. Hold up. All right, guys. Here is the first one. It's four full games in one first half only. Uh, so we're going under eight and a half. Do song. This is a plus one six oh eight. Time will catch you one seventy. Under eight and a half. Do on LG. Uh, KT money line. NC money line. Under seven and a half. Lote and Hanwa. And then we're going to plus half a run for Kai Woom in the first half. All right, so if you guys hold up a second, I'll bring you a full game and a first half. Thanks. All right, guys, here's the full gamer. It's a plus one, seven, eight, five. So we got Doosan plus one and a half, Samsung over eight and a half, and Kia under seven and a half, Lotte money line, and this one scares me, man. I'm going back and forth about over under now, guys. But I'm gonna play it like this because that's what I said. So, and we got Kaiwum SSG under seven and a half. I do not want to take SSG on the money line, but I mean, if you want to, it's not gonna really spice it up if you take that. Plus, uh, did it work? Or no, I don't think it went through, right? Let's see. So now that's a plus one seven eight five, and uh, yeah, see one forty six. I don't want to put that in there. But if you did money line, I think they can win. But it's just hard after the performance they had yesterday. I might throw that in there too, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna do it with the money line and the under, but that's me. So you guys do what you want, but. If you do it with the under, uh, 10 will catch you 188. You do it with the money line, Kai Woom, 10 will catch you 203. All right, guys, hold up, and I'll bring you the first half. All right, guys, and here's the first half one. The plus 2020. Oh, shit, that's pretty cool, huh? So, 10 will catch you 212. Uh, we have Doosan plus half a run. Samsung Kai KT over four and a half. Uh, NC and Kia under four and uh, let me interrupt guys if you guys don't agree with these and you want to put your own picks in Obviously, you know, you can do that. So, you know, I do research. I do the best I can and uh, Well, I don't take anything just for taking things. I take everything Because I have research to back it up. But anyways uh, We got Lotte. I got Hanwa plus half a run first half and then Kai Woom plus half a run first half I couldn't decide on this one either I might play both it's up to you you guys don't got to play both but I think I'm gonna whack both of these two might as well see what happens maybe games get canceled again and we win a lot again yeah right so we have it's not updating I got shitty service out here let me get closer to the restaurant. Maybe that will help. Jesus, man. Come on. Okay, this fucking phone sucks. Well, hopefully it will click back on soon. Alright, so if you uh, play the over, it's a plus 2225. Two, two, 10 will get you 232. So I'm going to play both, but it's up to you. You don't have to. Hi guys, have a great night. Hopefully we catch these again. And yeah, hopefully we're talking about winning money. I'm going to work on NPB right now. Big boy will have to be after I get out of work or a little bit later tonight. And yeah, that's that guys. Have a great night. Good luck. God bless. Kizzle out. Peace.